I'm Saqib Sheikh. I lost my sight when I was seven and shortly after that I went to a school for the blind and that's where I was introduced to talking computers and that really opened up a whole new world of opportunities. I joined Microsoft 10 years ago as a software engineer. I love making things which improve people's lives and one of the things I've always dreamt of since I was at university was this idea of something that could tell you at any moment what's going on around you. I think it's a man jumping in the air doing a trick on a skateboard. I teamed up with like-minded engineers to make an app which lets you know who and what is around you. It's based on top of the Microsoft Intelligence APIs, which makes it so much easier to make this kind of thing. The app runs on smartphones, but also on the Pivot Head smart glasses. When you're talking to a bigger group, sometimes you can talk and talk and there's no response and you think, is everyone listening really well? Or are they half asleep? And you never know. I see two faces, 40 year old man with a beard looking surprised. 20-year-old woman looking happy. The app can describe the general age and gender of the people around me and what their emotions are, which is incredible. One of the things that's most useful about the app is the ability to read out text. Hello, good afternoon. Here's your menu. Great, thank you. I can use the app on my phone to take a picture of the menu and it's going to guide me on how to take that correct photo. Move camera to the bottom right and away from the document and then it'll recognize the text. Read me the headings. I see appetizers, salads, paninis, pizzas, pastas. Hi. Years ago, this was science fiction. I never thought it would be something that you could actually do, but artificial intelligence is improving at an ever faster rate. And I'm really excited to see where we can take this. Hey. As engineers, we're always standing on the shoulders of giants building on top of what went before. And in this case, we've taken years of research from Microsoft Research to pull this off. I think it's a young girl throwing an orange frisbee in the park. For me, it's about taking that far off dream and building it one step at a time. I think this is just the beginning. presentation for the Zurich Minds Conference, Professor Raffaello D'Andrea demonstrates the amazing capability of drones that can communicate with each other. Technology, he admits, could be used to abuse populations and is, quote, incredibly dangerous. The most impressive part of the demonstration shows the drones working together to intercept an object. For this last demonstration, which we call the Skynet, we're going to use these three vehicles to do something cooperatively. What they're going to do is they are going to propel a ball in the air and then move to intercept it. This is a nice demonstration of various aspects from control theory. The first is optimal control to figure out the optimal way for them to throw the ball up in the air uh, um, subject to their constraints. The second is feedback control about these trajectories. And the third is replanning to move to intercept the ball. Okay. See, it's definitely worth waiting for. 
Okay, so the things that I want, to, I want you to appreciate when you see this is that these vehicles are basically vertical when they're fully extended. The other thing to notice or to note is that the forces that are applied to it are on the order of magnitude larger than the forces that the vehicles can apply themselves. So it's like somebody yanking you with thousands of pounds of force. And they have to be able to coordinate their actions to not only throw the ball up in the air, but then move to intercept it. This is an extremely dynamic task with a lot of uncertainty with very fast dynamics. Yet, this technique for designing control systems is very robust, and that's why the system works. Earlier this month, we reported on the development of a drone that mimics the behavior of eagles to snatch stationary objects off the ground, a capability technology experts fear could one day be used to literally abduct protesters and other suspects off the street. During his presentation, Professor D'Andrea had his own warning about the threat of the technology being misused. Okay, and my last note is that it's also incredibly dangerous. Okay? We're creating some pretty powerful stuff here. And it should be clear that it can, that it can be misused and it can be abused. Okay? The things that you could do with these types of machines is, is a little bit terrifying.
Introducing the Launcher for Dash from Wonder Workshop. This fun accessory turns Dash into a projectile launching machine. The launcher easily snaps on and comes with three projectiles and six targets. Using our free apps, like the Wonder app, your kids will love setting up trick shots. Or devising a fun prank. With Wonder Workshop robots and accessories, children learn coding and programming with hands-on fun. Let your kids unleash their creativity, then reload for more. Launcher is sold separately and works with Wonder, Blockly, or Go apps. For challenge ideas, go to makewonder.com. Hi, this is Sasha Segan from PCMag.com, here with the Double 2, uh, the new telepresence robot from Double. And we reviewed the Double last year, we really liked it, um, but the Double 2, which is $24.99, that's $2,499, uh, has several improvements. It's 80% faster, it's much more stable, so it doesn't kind of nod when it goes over bumps, um, and it has a camera kit on the top that gives you a, a high-res landscape camera view as opposed to the uh, portrait view that the operator got with the previous model. So they've got a couple of uh, double twos around here. Here, let's look. Oh, he's turning away from me. Can you turn back towards me? He's in San Francisco. Oh, he's in San Francisco. You see, he's in San Francisco. We're in LA. We're surrounded by telepresence robots. And the Double Two is $24.99, lets you work from home through telepresence. This is Sasha Segan from PCMag.com with these uh, very uh, slippery robots moving about. I am the Mechanoid G15KS. I was created to interact with human beings and learn from them. High five! I come installed with a technology called Learned Intelligent Motion. It's simple to program me. I make programming robots fun and simple. It can record and playback animations. I make programming robots fun and simple. Process voice recognition and communicate with smart devices through Bluetooth. Motion capture enabled. again sometime. Self-destruct mode activated. Three, two, one. Just kidding. Hello, Internet. My name's Kevin King, founder of Plum Geek. I'm here today to introduce Ringo. Ringo is a palm-sized robot based on the Arduino Uno. He's perfect for any robotics enthusiast. 
the wide range of smarts and sensors we've included will challenge and entertain even the most advanced programmers, yet he's still a perfect fit for anyone taking their first steps into robotics or programming. Ringo ships with 10 interesting behaviors preloaded, so you can start having fun as soon as you open the box. You can activate and control the behaviors with the included remote control. The light chase. Here, Ringo uses the three light sensors to track and follow the light. The pretty glow is coming from the two lights on his underside. You can make these any colors you want. The line follow. Here, he's using the edge sensors under his feelers to see the line. His eye flashes green when the sensor on that side sees the line. The finger nipper. Here, he's using his accelerometer and determining which direction he's pushed from, then he attacks in that direction. The Scaredy Bug. Similar example, but he runs the opposite direction when disturbed. In this example, the gyroscope is used to keep Ringo pointed a specific direction even when disturbed. Wind him up like a clock and let him go. He returns to the starting position. Pretty cool, huh? After you learn how his sensors work with the preloaded examples, you can customize them with your own personal touch by editing our easy to understand example code. This is a great way to learn the basic structure of how a program works and to move towards more advanced skills. You can make him come to life, like he has a real personality. He drives around using a pair of pager motors. The tips of the motors make contact with the surface on either side. Both motors can run in either direction and at variable speed. This makes him very maneuverable. Ringo can determine where he is, how he's moving, and where he's pointing thanks to an onboard accelerometer and gyroscope. Meet JD, an easy robot humanoid assembled with easy bits. Robot parts that clip together. With guided 3D instructions. This is your personal robot. For research, experimentation, and education. Control JD over Wi-Fi from your iOS or Android mobile device. Or program him to learn new tricks, dances, or routines using the Easy Builder software on your laptop. Use JD's parts to invent something new. Additional accessories are available in our store. A breakthrough in personal robotics. Hi, I'm Cypher, the designer of Vortex. Vortex is a revolutionary product for children. It is a smart and responsive robot that kids can play with and program. Using the Vortex and apps, kids can play different games, learn about robotics, and even create their own. Playing with Vortex is incredibly fun and easy thanks to its unified system and intuitive app. For example, the Bumping Fight is a sumo-style party game suitable for multiple players. The computer inside Vortex has sensors to detect motions like hitting, spinning, or being still. Vortex embraces new technologies and allows users to experience them. The Fugitive is a unique game with augmented reality and motion tracking technology. Children already love playing with our Vortex prototypes and we can't wait for kids everywhere to get their own Vortex. Vortex is compatible with both iOS and Android devices and comes with an open SDK. Anyone who wants to develop a game for Vortex is empowered to do so because every Vortex is a dev kit. The only limit? Your imagination. Vortex's app allows kids to learn to program their robots in a fun, simple, and educational environment. By abstracting complicated actions and visualizing the process, the app teaches the basics of programming without any coding or advanced skill. Learning by doing has never been easier. Just drag, drop, and hit upload. That simple.
Buddy is always there for what really matters. He reminds you of important tasks and events on your agenda. Wake up, Mako. Don't forget, it's Mom's birthday today. Hmm. <laughs> Buddy, turn on the lights. Let's go wake up Juliet. Happy birthday. Happy birthday, Mom. Happy birthday. Buddy makes your post-it board come alive. He can assist with messaging and relay the right message to the right family member. Buddy, remind Mom not to come back home before 8 o'clock. Buddy is a hands-free helper, <laughs> always there when you need him. He can suggest you. recipes while you're cooking. The Nutella pancakes. Honey, Read your messages. Tonight. Don't worry, I'll come early to take care of everything. Play your favorite playlist when you I ask him. Play my favorite playlist. Or even answer your call. Veronica. Okay, buddy, take the call. Okay, I'm leaving now. See you in half an hour. Buddy is watching your house. He patrols your home while you're away and alerts you when detecting any unusual situation. He can also manage all your connected devices. He automates your home and life by connecting to your devices, fitness trackers, locks, switches, and thermostats. He brings you peace of mind. Buddy, can you help Matilde? Buddy is an edutainment is? companion. Seven times seven. He allows your child to uh, learn 49? through play, such as practicing times tables Bravo, while having Matthew. fun. Perfect. Good work. Thanks, Buddy. My pleasure, Ben. <laughs> Buddy is your best shot. He captures special moments and can send them directly by email or by social networks. He detects when you smile for a picture or video, sees and tracks through his camera to recognize your Buddy, face. Call grandma to show her mom's birthday cake.